2017 Hyundai Ioniq Hybrid that has given us trouble with the air conditioning compressor. The compressor was actually working fine and cooling perfect, but a problem is it was making a horrible grinding noise. <laughs> So at the end of the day, the customer decided to replace the air conditioning compressor. And finally, I have it here in my hands. We have now the opportunity to take it apart. What would be the problem with this AC compressor? It would be the scroll. It could be the bearings. We're not sure, so let's take it apart. Hi, and welcome to this new episode of Hybrid Solution Diagnostic, where we're finally gonna take apart the air conditioning compressor of this 2017 Hyundai Ioniq Hybrid. So before we continue, please go ahead, consider it and like and subscribe. That is the only way that you can help us create way much more amazing educational videos about hybrid and electric vehicles. So today's masterclass about air conditioning compressor of Hyundai vehicles and Kia. So without wasting any time, let's take it apart. Here we go. It is about time I've been following this air conditioning compressor since a long time ago. So <laughs> finally, I'm going to have the opportunity to put my hands on it. So here it is. Uh, the air conditioning compressor in a hybrid electric vehicles, uh, obviously we know it's a high voltage electric motor, okay, that receives DC power from the high voltage battery. And by the use of an internal inverter, it turns that DC into a simulated alternating current or a pulse width modulation. That's how you create uh, a high volt, a variable speed uh, electric motor. Okay, uh, the other thing is obviously the air conditioning compressor of the modern vehicles is also scroll. So I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna take out the, uh, first of all, I'm gonna take out the inverter. So now to take out the inverter, I need to take out this. Um, let me take out this connection first. So yeah, it's because it has this side cable over here behind the, the inverter. So I want to take it apart right away. I am very excited, by the way, <laughs> because the problem is the compressor was actually working fine. But why is it making the horrible noise? Um, I see in this case um, probably just once. So I'm not going to say if it's a common issue or not in the Hyundai vehicles, okay, or Kia. Okay, so DC power coming from the high voltage battery. It also has a, like a ground cover and also has an interlock. It means that if you disconnect the air conditioning compressor, the vehicle won't start, okay? The, the interlock, you have to remember that that is a safety feature. So let me take out the back cover. Hopefully this won't take long. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the inverter is not the problem. Okay, that is for sure. So the electrical and electronics, let me see. Yeah, 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 looking impeccable, the DC coming over here. This is the contactor that opens and closes the switch of the high voltage to enter. And obviously here is supposed to be a bunch of transistor. Oh, oh, look. <laughs> so I finally disconnected. Uh, this is the main connection of the DC to the uh, three phase right here. So it means that once you remove, okay, the inverter or the compressor controller, it means that you don't have access to the internal. Hmm, pretty good. That means that that means that if you take this out, there won't be absolutely no leak. So that's pretty cool. Okay, the other thing is. We have over here the suction line, and the suction line, I can clearly see, look, this is the stator winding, which means that the air conditioning uh, refrigerant and the oil passes directly through the electric motor. Hmm. And this is the high pressure line, but I'm not seeing anything, I'm not sure, yeah, no, no. I'm not seeing any metal debris, absolutely nothing. So without wasting any time, I'm gonna open up the compressor. Here we go. Obviously the scroll is the first component that I'm gonna that I'm gonna take out. All right, let me take out the back cover. Okay, so it has a um, has a gasket over here, impeccable conditions. Uh, what I'm looking for is if by chance we have some sort of a metal debris, anything over here in the net of the outlet, and look, absolutely impeccable, which is a good sign. Okay. Uh, next, oh, I have over here the flapper, but this one is a three-stage flapper. Remember that the compressor, the scroll-type compressor, compresses everything to the very middle with a high pressure, and it has, yes, it has double valve over here on the, we could say that this is like a middle, middle side pressure. So, okay, I'm gonna take this. I wanna try to keep it clean. Let me take out all the, yes, it's full of refrigerant. 
<laughs> what, I, what I can see is that the refrigerant is actually yellow. So it means that, let's see. Yeah, 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 it has UV dye. Okay, let me take out this flapper. A second. I wanna take out this flapper. Let's see. All right, flapper, you're going out. Uh, okay, I take out very carefully. Yep, no, no, the flapper is in perfect conditions. Look. All right, so far, absolutely no metal debris, nothing, which is great. Now, it's time for the very truth. Let me take out the scroll. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see. All right, what? Look, Hyundai Ionic, Kianiro Hybrid. Look at the scroll. I was, I was expecting to receive lots of metal debris or the scroll probably taken apart with metal kind of something, but look, it's impeccable. I'm actually very surprised. All right, let me see. Yeah, I can spin it with no problem. Just let me take it off for a moment. But much careful, I don't wanna do any damage. I don't wanna do any damage here. Let me take out the rings. The gasket, let me take out the rings. Give me a second. Yeah, there's a there's a bunch of there's a bunch of tiny components that needs to be taken out from here. Uh, I wanna check the scroll with regards to the uh a second right here. It goes. This actually goes in one single position. There you go. That's how we know that it's compressing smooth. The also this the the side ring over here that's lights right here in this surface. It's perfect as well. Okay, which is good. Let me take out this. Looks okay. This looks like a complete. We could say that this is the one of the side walls where where the <laughs> um, the scroll uh, slides in. Now we have the main, this is the main bearing of the um, the counterweight, you see? Well, this is the first bearing. No, look at him, this, this bearing is impeccable. Uh, let me take out the counterweight, in a second. Uh, let me see, it looks like a oxidation marks. Uh, no, 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 that's the surface. All right, obviously because this gentleman does an eccentric move. It doesn't spin, but it moves eccentric way. Obviously, that creates a huge vibration. It needs a counterweight. So that's the main purpose of it. All right. The next step is... Uh, give me a second. I need this. I need this. I don't want to make any mess over here. I also need to clean all this bunch of oil. Now let me take out the... Rotor complete. You see? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's supposed to go out. <laughs> okay. So this is the permanent magnet rotor over here. Okay, we will expect it in a in a moment. And okay, so this is the stator whining. Okay, completely. It's supposed to be completely isolated from chassis ground. I'm gonna do a quick measurement anyways, but as I said, the compressor was working fine, so I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to receive an open line if I do a continuity test between any part of the line. Okay, so we have the back bearing. Let me see. No. This back bearing is actually impeccable. So far, so good. Now let me see the rotor. So the rotor, uh, it, also, the, uh, obviously it also has a counterweight uh, with a big bearing here in the center. Let me see. Oh, yes. Here is the problem. Let me see. Oh, okay. Listen to this. Wow. Ooh, the bearing is destroyed. Yep. There will be no doubt. This is exactly the very same problem that happens to most of the 
air conditioning compressor of the Nissan e power cars. The bearing in the center that holds uh, actually from probably the heaviest part of the, that, that takes the most mechanical stress of the high voltage electric motor, the rotor, is completely destroyed. So as I can see over here, this is a CW made in China, a Chinese bearing. You kidding me, right? Let me see. The bearing here in the back is an NSK Japan. The bearing here in the front, let me see what we have here. This one is uh, also a CW, it's a CW from China. Why do we have NSK in the back, Japanese, and then you have also uh, bearing from, from China? I have nothing against the Chinese, but still they're, they're kind of quality. It is obviously an issue. Don't get me wrong. Nissan e powered cars are also giving trouble with this and they're using Japanese bearings. So what type of, what type of stress uh, this kind of rotor is getting with this bearing? I'm not sure, but I have good news. This compressor is actually in good condition. It can be repaired. The, the, the scroll piston is in perfect condition. It's, I don't see any scratches, absolutely nothing, okay? The only thing is that, of course, this needs to be taken to a, a some sort of mechanical press to take it out and replace that stupid central bearing, which is definitely the problem in this 2017 Hyundai Ionic Hybrid. Let me know, guys, in the comments what do you think what will you do in this case? And this customer, actually, he took it apart. He, he replaced it. He replaced it, the complete system. And I was swearing anybody to bring me this compressor so I would have the opportunity to take it apart. So this is it. 2017 Hyundai Ionic Hybrid air conditioning compressor, Kia Niro as well. They actually use the very same. I think the Hyundai Ionic, the plug-in hybrid and the electric. Uh, probably the same system. Now we know that this compressor is repairable. It's just a matter to replace the stupid bearing and that should be it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to know more, stick around for this. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe.